You were smiling while sleeping and you were having a beautiful dream where you were laying in a field with a boy named Jungkook. You both were in each other's embrace and looking at the sky but suddenly your peaceful dream shattered by someone dumping cold water on your face. You jolted up with a groan and looked around only to see your annoying stepbrother dancing and clicking tongue at you. You shut your eyes in disbelief before shooting him a glare. You wore your Barbie shoes and ran behind him while he was running down the stairs. You chased him to the kitchen where your mom was making breakfast while your dad was engrossed in his phone. Jungkook hid behind his dad. You idiot, how dare you to throw water on my face. You yelled out loudly, catching your parents' attention. Your dad put the mobile on the table and looked at both of you confused with scrunched eyebrows. Dad, he threw water on my face while I was sleeping. It was so cold, Dad. You said crying loudly like a small baby. Ah, my baby, stop crying and you brought. Why you throw water on my lovely daughter, hmm? He glared at Jungkook. Dad, she has been sleeping since last 14 hours. It's not good to sleep too much. So I woke her up. I know it's her holidays, but how she can spend half of her day on bed? He said looking at you as he was questioning to you. I think he is right. Vyani, my dear, you should wake up on time. Your mom's are sizzling the bacon. Don't favor this bra, darling. If you wanted to wake her up, you should have called her instead of throwing water on her face. Now say sorry to her like a good boy. He said in a cold voice as he didn't want Jungkook to annoy you. Jungkook looked at him in a disbelief and then making an annoying face, he came closer to you. I'm sorry, he almost whispered. What did you say? I couldn't hear it clearly. You said in a teasing tone while playing with a strand of your hair. I said sorry, he said with his teeth gritted. Will tell about it, Jim Jungkook, you said winking at him. And then you rushed to your room to take shower. Jungkook with foot stomping left for his room while your mom and dad giggled looking at each other as they knew their children were actors. Reaching the bedroom, you walked to the bathroom and after 10 minutes you came back to your room. A smile crept on your lips thinking about Jungkook saying sorry to you. You recall the day when your mom got married to Jungkook's dad. First you were not agreed to their marriage but after your mom convincing you that Mr. Jun was a nice man, you somehow agreed. He was surely a good dad in terms of everything. He bought you a new car few months back. He loves you more than your own dad used to. He took good care of you and treated you like his own beloved daughter. He also loves your mom a lot as you have seen sparkle in his eyes whenever your mom is around him. You have a brother who is a bit irritating but still you like him. You all started to live here as a family. After their wedding, your parents didn't go for their honeymoon because of the nature of their job, so they postponed it to when they would have enough time. You enjoyed the company of your father and brother as they were so close to you. In the beginning, when you told that you had a dream where you and Jungkook were together, you meant it because those dreams were your every night fantasy, but you wanted them to be real. You had told your mind millions of times that it was wrong, but it was like your heart had a mind of its own. Your heart wanted someone and it was Jungkook. Though he didn't know this, but you have cr been crushing on him since you saw him for the first time. Jungkook had a strong, defined body from strong muscles to his broad shoulders and perfect jawline. When you first saw him, he was shirtless and water was dripping from his body. Your breath hitched at the thought of seeing him. He was gorgeous, not only his body. You applied some light pink tint on your cheeks and lips after slipping into a skirt along with the tank top and headed to the downstairs.
your mom plays pancakes in your plate and rubbing your hair she gave you a smile enjoy dear she said ah oh, thanks mom you said smiling back at him in the meantime jungkook came as she sat on the chair and started eating pancakes from your plate Here's mine. Go and get yourself your brat. You said, jerking off his hand. It's bad. Why and let him eat. I'll make more for you both. She said, flipping the pancakes from the kitchen. You mind while Jungkook gave you a place full smirk, snatching pancake from your hand. Meanwhile, your dad walked to you and giving you both a warm kiss. He sat on the chair beside you. So my babies we are departing for Paris take care of yourself and don't fight with each other he said looking at you both you both nodded like an innocent children and gave him a smile saying goodbye to your parents you both came inside and giving each other stare you moved to your bedrooms you laid on your bed and started reading a novel where your mobile phone rang Glancing at the caller ID, a smile crept on your lips. It was Thailand, your best friend. You both had nice relationship as you always crack jokes and fun a lot. To the students who didn't know you, it seemed like you both were flirting with each other, but you knew that you were just friends and nothing will ever change that. You answered the call with big smile. Hey, Wayan, I hear that your parents are not home. You must be getting bored so if you allow I can be a great amusement to you no huh? he said in his sweet voice as usual Yeah I was about to call you Dylan you can come to my place we will watch movie together and have fun you said smirking your intention of calling Dylan at your place was simple I wanted to know if Jungkook gets jealous of your male friend or not By this means you will come to know if he loves you or not. Why and my dear bestie, I'll be there until eight o'clock. He said and saying goodbye to you. He will cut the call. You put the mobile on the bed and fall on it. It was around seven thirty o'clock when you got up with a mischievous grin and walked to your wardrobe. Opening it, you searched for stunning dress and finally you found it after ten minutes. You took it out and went to the bathroom to change into it. You came back in your room and ran to huge floor-length mirror to look at yourself. A smile tugged on your lips, looking at your reflection. It was a red bodycon dress and had shining beads around the neck. It was and could make anyone crazy. Applying nude makeup with red lipstick, you rubbed your lips together and, winking at your reflection, you headed downstairs. There you saw Jung Kook sitting on a couch watching movie. You cleared your throat dramatically to catch his eyes. Jung Kook looked at you and he got all struck. His eyes opened wide while his face heated up. Are you Wyan or I am dreaming? He said rubbing his eyes so cutely as if he was a small baby who found his most favorite toy and was not believing. You chuckled, looking at him while your hands fidgeting the gown. Hey, drama boy, it's me, Wyan. You said, looking at him as you were trying to depict his expressions. Why you get ready this time for me? Oh my, Wyan, you look like me. You wanna impress me, right? I think you got successful. He said, biting his lips. Ha, ah, dream done. It's not for you. You said, tucking a strand of your hair behind your ear. Then for whom he asked, frowning his eyebrows. Before you say something, a bell rang. Here he is. For whom I got ready. He said, walking to the door like a model. Jungkook frowned, looking at you from behind. Wait, did she say, just say he? Did she get ready for a boy? He said to himself, confused. Soon you came back with Dylan, who was wearing black T-shirt with navy blue pants. He was looking handsome. Do and half of your classmates had crush on him. Wyan got ready for this guy. Is she dating him? Or she can dress up like this for him? He muttered to himself while glaring at Dylan. Hey Dylan, you sit here. I'll get you water. 
You're suggesting him to sit on the couch beside Jungkook and then you went to the kitchen. Thailand sat on the couch and gave Jungkook a sweet smile while Jungkook narrowed his eyes, looking at him from head to toe. Are you and Vyan, I mean Vyan and you, you and Vyan, you? He stuttered barely as he didn't want to hear yes. It looks like now we are not together. Actually, Vyan is my best friend and class fellow. We have a special bond. Whoever sees us, they think that we are a couple, as just you thought. He said, smiling at Jungkook. Jungkook sighed in relief, fearing that you were not his girlfriend. Well, don't even think of dating her, he said coldly. Why so? Do you have any problem? He said, giving him confused stare. No, I mean she is not a good girl. She wakes up late, sleeps at 6 o'clock in the morning, even she has pimples. She hides them by applying a lot of makeup. In fact, she fights all day long. Anger issues. Yes, she has anger issues. She is dramatic and flirts with boys, but no one wants to be with her as she is bad. He said with horrible expressions on his face. Dylan left her lowly as he knew Jungkook was lying because he never applied any makeup product while going to your school and he knew you really well. He was sure that you never tried to flirt with anyone. In fact, the boys in your college roam around you but you never looked at him. Why you laughed? Oh, you are also shocked. He said consoling himself that Dylan will not date you after hanging all this. Soon you came back holding drink in your hand as you placed it on the table and sat on the couch beside Dylan. Hey Dylan, did you like Jungkook? I hope he didn't irritate you. You said giving him a white smile while Jungkook narrowed his eyes in anger. Dylan whispered something near your ear before giving Jungkook side eye. You both started laughing looking at Jungkook which made him pissed off. Why are you guys laughing? He asked you both with suspicious expression on his face. Oh, nothing. I was just telling Vyan that she is looking so beautiful in this dress. He liked giving him a toothy grin. So funny, he said, rolling his eyes. Dylan and you smiled and then you turned on the TV and you sat on the couch more closer to Dylan. Jungkook was getting pissed off now as he put his both hands on his lips as he didn't want to utter some nonsense for you. You like this movie, Vyan? You know we used to watch this movie after school walking back to our houses. He said playing, with the, uh, playing the movie which you had seen so many times during your childhood. Oh, you still remember it? You are so witty, Dylan. You said hitting him on his shoulder playfully. Jungkook glared at you as he was hitting the pack you being so close to any other guy. His nose was flailing while he was moving his hands in air as if he was trying to stay calm. The lens face turned into tomato as you were so closer to him. His heartbeat was getting faster and he put his hand on your thigh and sat rubbing nervously as he continued to see that whether you will stop him or not. Your eyes grew wider as you felt his hand. never expect Dylan would behave like this. Before you pushed him away, Jungkook yelled out, Get lost into your room, brat, and change. He yelled loudly, glaring at you with his intense eye. You got flinched and ran to your bedroom as you got afraid by his voice. Jungkook got up from the couch when he saw you disappearing to your room. How dare you to touch her? He shouted at Dylan and grabbing his collar, he dragged him outside the house. If I ever found you roaming around Vyan, I swear it will be your last day on this planet. He spat on him and closed the door on his mouth. After some time, you came down in skirt and looked for Jungkook and that idiot Dylan. Before you turned around, Jungkook pushed you. How dare you do? He yelled out while gripping you. You missed at the pain, you looked at him and your breath hitched in your throat. I said, why you dress up like that? He yelled again. You mustered up some courage looking at him. Why? Why you are questioning me? Are you jealous? He looked at you as deer caught in headlights, but soon he managed.
It's not a matter. The matter is he is handsome guy and I don't want to near him. Not any other man on this planet. Like hell. You are mine. He confessed staring into your eyes. Your heartbeat got intensively faster as he just confessed to you. You are not alone who love him but he also loves you. But this side of his was giving you shivers. The cook was and hate to see you went somewhere else. You just confessed to me. Did you say that you love me? I knew my plan will definitely work and yeah it worked great. The words just slipped out from your mouth. Tango frowned his eyebrows looking into your eyes. You made me fool. How dare you? No one can save you from my hand. Before he leaned closer to you, pushed him away and ran upstairs. You locked the room while blushing like crazy and wanted to tease him. How long will you stay upstairs, girl? You are a bad girl and bad kid need. He said with a playful smirk. Jungkook sat on the sofa and glancing at the time, he let out a sigh. He wanted to teach you a lesson. He searched for a video on his mobile phone and smirk crept on his lips as he found the one. He got up putting his black leather coat and grabbing car keys he dashed out the house. The clock on the kitchen wall ticked 12 o'clock while Jungkook was making lemonade. He then opened pail and put it in the drink mixing it properly he took the tray and after placing the drink on it he sat on the sofa. He then picked up his mobile phone from the table and messaged you that he was not feeling well. After reading his message, you got anxious and rushed downstairs without thinking twice. Reaching the living room, you saw him laying on the sofa while rubbing his tummy. He was rinsing slightly. Cook, cook, what the matter? You mumbled, looking at him concerned. My stomach is aching. Vani, I'm not feeling good. Please give me lemonade. He sat pointing at the table where lemonade was placed. You nodded nervously and grabbed a glass on the left side. No, no, not that. The right one. He said panicking. You couldn't get it and you handed him another glass. Thanks, baby. By the way, I made it for you too. You can have it. He said while sipping. You nodded innocently and grabbing a glass to gulp it down. Jungkook smirked internally looking at you and acted innocent. You giggled like a cute baby while making pout at Jungkook. Suddenly your body started to heat up and you looked at Jungkook with a smirk as if he was a... You leaned to him and pushed him to the sofa. Can I get a kiss? You said caressing his cheeks. Jungkook gulped down and playfully rolled his eyes. You whined cutely. Jungkook nodded making you smile and then pulled you. You whined again and which made him smile. He lifted you up in his arms and took you to the bedroom. He laid you on the bed and fell. After few hours, I want to be the only man, sweetie.